Hey, thanks for stopping on by for the second installment of the Bone Shaker uh, review. Once they get halfway in, they they really develop into something really nice. Uh, the slight hay and leather, uh, leather was a little obsolete uh, before. Once you uh, once the cigar uh, really develops, that's all that's all you really get. Uh, you get cocoa, uh, overpowering hay, and uh, the the notes of leather are very predominant. Once uh, once you get halfway down, normally right where the the wrap is you can go about right here and then uh, about right here and then you start hitting the binder it starts getting all uh, gross and nasty so you got to throw it out but uh, these these are really good 40 uh, minutes to an hour long the Warhammer 6x60 if you don't have that long to spare I'd probably reach for like a mace or a morning star typically if you're not using a humidor uh, the bone shaker will give you uh, right around a good 20-25 minutes. Uh, letting the, the cigars uh, cure in a humidor is uh, definitely crucial for how they smoke, how they taste, uh, the aging process, uh, and especially if you want to keep a cigar for a long time without it falling apart and just being overpowering uh, and stale. What I normally do, I uh, I save my tags because uh, I'm gonna be making like almost like a wall art of every single cigar that that I've smoked uh, this far quite a bit uh, now. So uh, yeah, if you want a very good stick, nice draw, uh, something that's not gonna frustrate you. There are a lot of cigars out there that just let you down. Uh, and you just got to throw them out like you can't even finish them uh, There's a couple of them that I've encountered that are pretty much that way that I just There's three cigars that I know I can count on every time. It's a witch doctor. It's a bone shaker and uh, The uncharted uh, now I got another one so bone shakers at the top of my uh, list as one of my favorite cigars another one is the ko brazilian if you want an awesome cigar reach for a ko brazilian uh, a box of them is 81 dollars for 20 is it worth it most definitely ko's are very very rich tobacco the flavor uh schemes in them are just uh will just burst uh in your mouth with uh excitement i guess you would say there is really, this is a thing guys, there is no way to explain a cigar without saying, sounding homophobic. I mean, you got veins and, well, it's one thing that I love about the bone shakers. You, you don't really have too many veins. You have a minimum vein right here, but, but other than that, it's just a rich, nice, buttery, oily uh, cigar. The last thing that, that I want to talk about so these cigars are are what you call full body casts. So it means it has a Connecticut extra wrapper wrapped around it. Uh, so you have the full body cast, you have the regular bone shaker. In my opinion, which one's better? Because they both taste different. Uh, I would definitely say the full body cast is a lot more harsher, a lot more peppery than, than the original. The original Bone Shaker is to die for. It is so good. I love, excuse me, I love firing that stick up. The full body cast, uh, you really have to cure it in a, in a humidor for quite some time. So my cigar has been curing over a week in, in a humidor and they're finally just now mellowing out. Uh, it's just uh, it's just not my kind of cigar, but I still enjoy uh, the full body cast. First day of spring out. Just want to wish everyone a uh, happy spring ahead. Bees are already out, so all right, guys. Uh, thanks for stopping on with Koi uh, Cigars with Koi. Uh, hope you enjoyed this uh, this review. Make sure to go get yourself a bone shaker. 
exclusively at jrcigars.com. All right, if you want to know or you want me to review any cigar, just go ahead and leave it in the comments section. All right, peace.